Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to the show, the greatest golfer of all time, in my opinion. I got a great future behind me. <laughs> and the older I get, the greater I was. Now, that's a Lee Trevino line right there, by the way. <laughs> you decided not to wear shoes today to this. What was the choice there? What was the thinking? I just like to keep my balance because I'm going to drink a little, so more I'm barefooted. You know, yeah. if you, if, every time you get drunk trying to walk out of a bar, just throw your shoes in the trash and go barefooted. Yeah. Seriously. That's safe advice. You can actually <laughs> think about your feet stepping on something, and then you start walking better. He's Seriously. playing golf like I would play golf, where drinking is the first thought. I've yeah. Golf a second. Oh, like John yeah. John Daly kind of invented that. <laughs> yeah, well, and when I ran into well, you this morning, this is no lie, 11 a.m., you I'll said, have you. a sip of this. I'm drinking yeah, Belvedere. It's, no, it's fuzzy. Straight. Fuzzy's vodka. Is it really? Yeah, fuzzies. I, I, they got my fuzzies nice. up there. Oh, you got your fuzzies up yeah. here. Oh, I love fuzzies. Look at that. Vodka. Cheers. So oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, we read about some unfortunate events uh, with you that, that you're fighting off cancer. Um, now you had some surgery. How is everything going with you? Uh, I'll be... It's going to be a process, five to seven years, but going every three months, three months, then six, six, and a year or whatever, but it's, I'll beat it. I'm going to be yeah, honest. You, you look great. I'll beat it. Um, I met you a couple years ago at You're uh, one of the, the Masters. toughest motherfuckers of all time. I'm not yeah. worried about you beating it. these boys, Rob and Mick B. And well, Mick B, is a, he's a murderer. He's a master murderer. No one People knows don't understand. 6,800 jumps look at in battle. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Pop it <laughs> you taking over? And yo, yo, turn my headphones up. <laughs> <laughs> How big a flex is it to show up? Yeah, come, come on in. in. Kid Rock is here, he ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you show up in a general league <laughs> golf go, cart. We're gonna go sit by the drink in the general. They call league. me the general because I generally don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right you don't. You went hard at Trump Jr.'s event last night. How that was it? my event that Trump Jr. was at. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what are you running? My mouth? Fucking 24-7. No. What are you running for governor? We want you in office. Who would want that fuckhead job, by the way? Like, well, it's the way they treat people and vet them and, you know, like, you did this, you did that. Like, that's why we can't get any good people. Just be serious for a second. That's true, yeah. And politics, because, you, you know, it's, everybody's got some... Skeletons, yep. some demons, this, that, and the other. But you just want the smart guy in there, the smart woman, whoever it is. Right. Hey, all my skeletons are gone. I got none in my closet, baby. They're yeah. all gone. That's what I was going to say. So you saying I should run for something? Because I, I saw your closet one time. It was in the back of your fucking Maybach. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're Remember? Right. Beautiful, yeah. Pulled up to my house. Like a Maybach is like a car that you're driven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. the difference between a, a Rolls Royce and a Bentley? A few golf shirts. The Bentley is for the gentleman to drive. The Rolls Royce is for the gentleman to, to be, be driven. driven. Yeah. Same thing as the Maybach. This motherfucker's got golf. She's got a hanging rack in the back with goddamn clothes stacked up for fucking days. It was a mess. Gave me a little anxiety. It's all right. <laughs> it was neatly put in. Very organized. I'm OCD. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm always a neat freak. Don't if you, you lie. you want me to lie a little bit, just take the glasses off and wink at me. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, look yeah. at that. There it's it getting is. real. How long have you guys been friends? Two for fucking like a long. year. <laughs> just, just a year. 20 years or something? 15, 15 20? It's 06 or 07. I didn't even golf when I met him. I'm like, I'm not fucking golfing. It's kind of gay. Like, I don't want to take my hat off and tuck my fucking shirt in and blah, 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 blah. To him and, to him and Jamie Johnson, man, they said, no, we're never going to play golf, so don't even ask. <laughs> anymore. So John Daly's responsible for a lot of dirtbags playing golf these days. I love it. Call him dirtbag, motherfucker. Well, I mean, everybody here. <laughs> he, we're all. You're driving the general. You're driving the general. We got leader, right? <laughs> all right. Most people would say you awesome motherfucker. Yeah. Yes. Dirtbag means awesome. So I got into playing the pro am in Flint. No, was it ten or nine or something? First time he'd ever hit a golf ball. You got fined ten grand when I put that bud twenty to a Bud Light off there and you teed off on it. I mean, though. <laughs> no. You got out. No. You got out. I didn't pay it. Let's put it tried, that way. <laughs> they tried to find you. Yeah. And then he's loving golf now, so, of course, it's all about golf now. And then Jamie Johnson, that crazy son of a bitch, he comes to Omaha, from Omaha, Oklahoma, wherever, down. And he goes, hey, I'm coming into town. We're going to play some golf. I go, you don't play golf, dude. What are you talking about? He says, not only do I play golf, I bought a golf course, too. I oh, said, oh, Alabama, my I God. Golf course. Yeah. It's we right went there last year. House. Hey, we're undefeated there, kid. We won last yep. year. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Trump, November 3rd, what's your prediction? What do you think is going to happen in the, in the election? I'm reading all the fucking polls, and they've got them down I'm by I'm going to go with my hopes and predictions. Okay, mm. go ahead. Fucking landslide. And people go in there. Even like Trump told me one time, he's like, people talk to shit. They hate me. He's like, when they go in there, they pull the fucking lever for Trump. That's true. Yeah, yeah, Silent majority. Yeah. yeah. Even some of my hardworking black friends, you know, this, that, and the other, they're like, 
And people I know in that space are like, my 401k through the roof. Yeah. Like pensions. People, they think, they people think the vote. stock market's fucking for rich people. It's like your 401ks and shit you work yeah. hard for is there. Trump's got Mutual people got money stuff, in their yeah. pockets. Yep. Yeah, he might say a little inappropriate shit and have a big mouth. I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> like but still, there's more good than fucking whatever. You know, it's just a joke. We were just talking, me and my special ops buddy over mm-hmm. here, talking about like a- If Biden gets elected, China like, will own us. Saying like, it's really screwed they up. And this is us. just one example of the media out of hand. It's like CBS, ABC, NBC, Evening News <clears throat> last week. There's uh, hurricanes coming through the Gulf. There's crazy wildfires on the West Coast. And oh, by the way, a cop got assassinated. And their, their, their headlines and that's are like. That's the third story. Can you flip he- that around? Yeah, their, their headlines are like, Trump said this at this event. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Seriously. I'll tell you this much. That motherfucker must know what he's doing because. He's the best. No matter who I time. talk to, whether it's. I don't do interviews anymore. So, by the way, you're fucking welcome. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to be anybody's clickbait, which I'm surely going to be yours. Fine. <laughs> but. Is, is a fuck I lost my train of thought. Hey, but that's okay. Hey, they got 9.2 million. How many records have you sold? About 180? Yeah. I have sold 179 records. I, was, I knew it was close Jesus. to 180. Well, you sold a couple to me, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Look, probably we're, everybody. We're all gigantic fans. You uh, would be at 180. 37 million, but who's counting? You would be there, but you gave me all the new albums because I usually go out and buy we're them. We're on a couple. Huh? <laughs> we're on a few of my records. I am. Yeah. Yeah. When, hey, when's the new album hey, coming I named, out? I named Rock and Roll Jesus. Nobody knows when anything's coming out. Hey, that's tell, true. Tell them about that story. Kid, when I came here and y'all, were you were so pissed off. You were mad. You couldn't name the album. You needed two more songs. Well, that originally started, I, I went to the Nashville Fair, like the county fair or whatever, because I wanted to, I was, had a condo here. I wanted to decorate and get those old, like, Def Leppard mirrors that you mm-hmm. throw darts for, for and shit. So we get there and, like, this big crew of people start following me. It was like Pigpen and Charlie Brown. And then we get on the Ferris wheel, me and my buddy Tom, and it's going around, and when it would come to the bottom, people would be like, yeah, woo! It would cheer and shit every time it came around. And my buddy goes, dude, you're like the fucking trailer park Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were talking about that story, and then you named my record Rock and Roll Jesus. Because yeah. I was there that for is five amazing. Minutes. He got mad at me. I said, well, you're already mad, man. But he has these statues of Jesus. He used to in Clarkson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Statues of Jesus, and then the flip-off here. statue of Jesus. And I said, dude. The first song's Rock and Roll Jesus. Just name it Rock and Roll Jesus, the album. That's amazing, because you've got a church at your house, right? Yes. Oh, it's yeah. a charn. Well, it's a church that you turned into, a, like... I built it. It's a charn. Oh, you oh, built it, in, like, church, intentionally. Yeah. That's I built it intentionally. That's I like dual-purpose things, like yeah. mixing Werewolves of London and fucking Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a charn. I mean, it works. It's like Brangelina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, no, it's a charn. Year, it's a church Ross, and a bar. Last year when we were at his place, you were just finishing that studio, by the way. Yeah. Brilliant. Like, it's all done now. You can... That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. We're releasing yeah. a new album. It's I've un- seen you. I've seen you about it. Mm-hmm. Is there any any thought of 2021? Perhaps when it will come out. Or are you trying was. to time it up with a tour? We got a lot of shit going on, but when I drop the bomb, I'm gonna drop the bomb. He's being really cagey over here about it right now. That that means he's got plans. Hey, what do you Actually, think? I'm gonna announce it on your podcast. What do you? What do you? Right hey, <laughs> what do you, <laughs> what do you think? Kid, Kid Rock. I'm Kid Rock. That, boys. Hey. I love you like Kid Rock runs for president. On, John really Daly's vice president. Yeah. What do you think? I would love it. Would you ever run? Why not? I'd definitely run. You've been Kid Rock for a very I'd long run. time now. I'd run these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> 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 now you know why that's he's not a politician. That's a, no, that's a campaign <laughs> slogan right there. I'm going to run these nuts in your yeah. mouth. <laughs> you did this. You did this, I, Bob. So I just haven't done an interview in probably four years. And I forgot how fucking good I am at it. You are really good. <laughs> But in all serious, you would be great as the governor of Michigan. <laughs> Whitmer's the fucking worst. She's the worst governor in the country yeah. right now, by far. Yes. You because she's. Landslide. Yeah. For real, you would win. You really would. Well, I had him shit in her pay. pants on the Senate thing. Yeah. You, you, were, yeah. you were close. When I saw the first polls come out for you, they were shitting their pants. I mean, it, it was crazy. You would win governor. Tomorrow. I started believing my own bullshit for a while. Like I'd be golfing, people would come up, and be like, "What do you think about the Great Lakes?" And I'd be like. Gotta clean them up and like they'd be like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm in a fucking band. I wrote the lyric, you know, with a bottle of scotch and watched lots of crotch. Like, Those are my genius lies. I don't know anything else. But I found myself trying to be pointy, you know, grabbing people like I feel, I feel your pain. Like the senator, like fuck yeah, we're all voting for you. And I'm like, what I didn't calculate. You know, I'm just fucking with people because they were fucking with me. Right. Left side, like, Good Rock should be a senator. People are like, ah they're laughing. I go, yeah, I'm running for Senate, motherfucker. They're like, oh. <laughs> the polls come out, I'm winning. Yeah. What I did not calculate was the people that were really all in, 100% in. And then I'm like, ah, what idiot thinks I would run for Senate? 
Whoops! Yeah, all my fans. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know his shows that year. His shows that year Which had American flags, and he did all this. You had the podium like you're going to do a speech. Yeah. On some of his shows he that year. I, I, yeah, I thought, thought it was right. real too. And hell, I'm his one of his best friends. I thought he was really going to run. Yeah. I mean, acting has always been a strong, strong quality. Yeah. Mine. Should, it's like when I did Joe Dirt and Spade called me. I'm like, do I need to, you know, seek some training, stay in character? He's like, dude, just be you. You play a fucking idiot, fucking burnout redneck. He's like, no, just show up as Kid Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we gotta go. All right, boys. Yeah, 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 we appreciate it, Thank man. Thanks, hey, thanks for stopping yeah, by yeah. and sincere, like in all sincerity. Okay, I just want to say to, to buy. I would like everyone to go to www. Dot, I actually have this as a website. Okay. Check out my cock dot com. Okay. I swear to God, if you Google, I'm not fucking with you. No one's gonna not. I bought it. I bought a 12 foot stone chicken, and we made a website. Check out my cock dot com. It's just that chicken with a Kid Rock hat on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> definitely go there, but definitely. That's check what out I'm the promoting today. I want you to put out a new album in 2021. We've got no great rock musicians right oh, now. Oh, I've heard put it. out a fucking album. I've heard it. Well, let me tell you what's going on in the world before I leave you right now. Yeah. Because I warned everybody about it fucking years ago. This is the fruitation and exactly what happens when you give kids timeouts and last place fucking trophies. Yeah. I agree. There it is. <laughs> he dropped it. The pussification of society <laughs> by Kid Rock, guys. ladies and gentlemen. He dropped it. Thanks for being on Drinking Bros. We love you. Told you I was awesome. It's hot. We're, we're actually outside. Jared, when we mm. started off, was like, it's too hot. It's like, you know that hot where you're sweating? Yeah. Red. I'm, yeah. You're sunburned somewhere. You're not sure where. I'll find out later, probably mm. around 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, and the beauty of it is you have to follow Kid Rock and John Daly. Yeah, yeah. No, no pressure. Yeah, yeah in the I don't need sunscreen weather, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we're here. When's the, la when's the last time you were on the show? It was like 2017, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, it was for live? Yeah. 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 Was yeah. that the last time? time? Yeah. Am I in, in Denver? Shaved, shaved Eagle? In Denver, yeah. I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. Well, here's the thing. is like we all hang out in real life. Therefore, it's like sometimes we're just not recording shit. We're just... Yes. So that that's a difficult question. To yeah, answer. we had a, we had an all we dude nine way last night. We didn't have a camera on the whole room. No, it not was just one. nine and, dudes. And you and I got started drinking at noon. Yeah, yeah. with Michael Ray. Sorry, yeah, we got true. started so late. By did the way. you not come to this event? I fucking t tell him to come right now is what I could do. Michael <laughs> Ray, come right now wherever you are. He's Michael. a country artist. Right? Yes, he's you mean amazing. Like, come he's a very or good like, one. Come like either or. You know, we had a long we had a long conversation of outward or inward. We did. Yeah, I think we settled the debate. Wait, I what's so? The, well, let me let me ask you this. Uh, to to me, in my personal opinion, during this this whole entire six month stretch so far, there has been no great music, and I'm talking great music, like yeah. a great album or anything else. I heard the Killers album the other day, and I thought it was super interesting. It was like uh, the the first song was like a goddamn anthem that'll be played for years. The rest of it was like this weird '80s less than zero type of yeah, album, sure. and yeah. it was rad and super and I still creative. Like it, by the way, same. Yes, it's I love just it. Different. I love it too. It's just yeah. totally different. Other than that, though. I'm hard pressed to name another great album that has come out during COVID. But who wants to release an album without being able to tour Taylor right Swift? Afterwards, right? Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I think no. it's fighting her singles. Too. Yeah, I agree. you got to look at so MGK's model right now. This really it's single. A business. He's putting right. a single, single out every every right. once a week. Okay. Yeah. A yeah. simple yeah. video to it. It's getting six to nine million views. Yeah. Downloaded like that, and mm -hmm. then you just pump these out. Yeah. I, mean, I think you're right. He's doing with Megan Fox, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Danny did the same thing. Warstop from uh, Asking Alexander. They put out single after single, and then when they put the album out, it went to number two the first fucking day. Yeah. yeah. Like it was, I mean, it's not a bad strategy these days. Just yeah, well, digital you, marketing in general. You want to create thirst COVID. there, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to create an appetite. And now's a difficult time because what do you do? Do you create that and, and cultivate that? Or do you just uh, cultivate and just keep everybody where they're at? And hopefully you'll come back when we... We start touring again. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's kind one of those keep the lights thing. on situations. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do we it's, keep fans engaged, but we can't actually but go out on the road? I, I, you don't want to release anything that's half ass either. No. So, of course. no. Well, not a year. Yeah, point. man. Guys, not how, a, many, how many yeah. studio albums does Breaking Benjamin have at this point? Uh, this will be seven. Seven. Coming yeah, up, so yeah. you can't put out a shitty album at this mm -hmm. point. You can't. There's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, no how does that feel? Talk to me next summer. We'll talk. Well, here's the here's the here's the real question: Is there more pressure to put out a great album next, or to follow John Daly and Kid Rock on this show? Oh man, personally or professionally? Well, those are different questions. Professionally, look, man. I every your yes, your band is so huge that it's like, dude, if you miss spectacularly, 
It'll be a story. Yes, and the fans yeah, will come down miss. on you. With they're not going to. Yeah. He's not going to no. write something shitty. What? Oh, I appreciate no, I, the vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like because he is the he is the way to just fucking come up with these melodic fucking guitar, the guitars and the music and produce it himself. He doesn't need anybody else. And then Ben just knows how to fucking. He knows it. Oh, he hey, his own oh, perfect. Fan. Boom. Yeah, yeah that, that link. That link. Seven is great. fucking albums as big as theirs are. Yeah. Like, this is they're doctors at this point. Like I, the fucking I surgeons. It. It's still a lot of pressure, though. I would imagine. It's, right? it's a lot of pressure. Um, and, and you want to think about. There's a careful balance of your fan base would expect this from you, mm-hmm. right? But you want to keep continuing to grow. So you want to. Right. You can't reinvent the wheel. At the same time, well, we got lucky. Very, to, there's been very few bands that have actually been able to do that. Like 100%. Bring Me the Horizon puts out a different album every, every single time, time they pull that's one a out. Risky and damn some, thing. And somehow they're doing good. They're the only band I've ever seen do that. Has yeah. been successful. The only they, one. They have this. This cultish, you know, Ollie, their singer, owns a, a drop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he owns a clothing company that's yep. doing very well. Yeah, it's doing that's great. Yeah. The, and so they're fine. They don't have the pressure of everybody else being yeah. like, okay, well, if this doesn't happen, what's our advance? Where are we at? Right, in the yeah. Deal? Right. yeah. They're kind of taken from that and they get certain freedoms, I think, which is right. a great thing. Yeah, I mean, they. And they're respected. They're a band's band, too. Yeah, yeah, they are. So yeah. they, uh, they. Like, they, they call that. out bands for doing stupid bullshit a lot. Yeah. Well, this is uh, uh, that's kind of that same model right now with Matt Best. Like, he has he's working on a, a, a serious song for the first time that he's done. He's actually got two serious songs that are in development that are so good. Like, both completely different styles, but so good. But it, he doesn't have to. You know, it's yeah, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, but, but nobody's fun. expecting Matt to put out an album because he's not a singer, right? With Breaking Benjamin, that's it, man. People are living for yeah, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing with me. Thing. Like, I love yes. Post Malone. We've tried to get him on the show. 100%. If he fucking fails with his next album, which I heard is going to be all rock, um, that is the rumor that is... I don't know that... Okay, I see that. That's the rumor that I've heard? Yes. But if he fails with that, there's so many fucking people that are waiting for him to fail that it's just going to be... Man. Fuck you. I honestly dude. think, though, he's above reproach in that way. He, he has shot some videos holding weapons of mass destruction mm-hmm. in a lot of people's eyes, and nobody cares. The yeah. first, so we, we so, were hanging out with him at a Cowboys game okay. and uh, yeah. la- last year. We were drunk as fuck in the parking lot. I've never met him. And we were like, hey, come on the show. And he was like, yeah, for, for sure, but I don't want to talk about fucking politics and shit. Like, we don't, we don't care. What do you want to talk about? He's like, oh, I want to talk, talk, talk about guns. By the way, can you give me a 50 cal? We're like, yeah, we hooked him up with a bunny. He, got a, he bought himself a fucking... Fucking Mod Deuce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay, cool, I mean, bro. I mean, I don't know well, what to that. say. Other than yeah. That. I, I, he doesn't give a fuck. So, no, he I mean, does. Maybe you're right uh, to a certain extent, but it's like, man, uh, with this little of content out in the world, it's going to be magnified if you fail. We, well, we have ADD audience. Yes. Right? That's true. Yeah. He's also only like 25. Yeah. He's, so, got, he's got several more years before... Like yeah. there's any kind of issue with and him. And he doesn't have one square inch of his face left for a tattoo. No. And well, no here's the too. problem with Post Malone. He's, been so, he's a smart guy. Like, he's a victim of his own success in a lot of ways. He's been so great. Every single album has been so great. If he put out a not great album, people are like, oh, he's... But that's he's what wa- that is exactly Listen, what I'm saying about these guys. He's not watching well, the 25. That's what I'm saying about you. 100%. But, but you... Um, I think there's a status... I'll, I'll not put myself in the same sentence here, but you have your Metallicas, you have your Coldplays, you have these world-renowned... They're fine. Right, so they have a flop. Everybody hates it. Well, good because now I'm doing stadiums next year with the right. biggest Live Nation deal that's ever. Happened. I love that uh, Jason Newstead quote back in the day after they cut their hair. It was like, yeah, people ask us all the time, out? did we sell out? Yeah, we yeah. sold out every single stadium we went to. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and that, that's the thing. Yeah, I saw it every single night. Yeah, and, and that there, there's a there, there's a weird precipice there. I think Post Malone might be a part of that. That that's my he my might be he's so he beloved. Might be. I hope so. Yeah. He that also speaks. lives his life openly as a fucking dirtbag, like a lot of fucking people kind of hide that shit behind the scenes. Yeah. But he's listen. Uh, I, smell, I think he it's, smells, it's, 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 great. In, it's 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 ingratiating to people. Like people like that. People, I think so. People well, like something hearing, right? real. It is. So yes. you, there's there's a like there's you have a blue value. hair right now. It's yeah, that's yeah, endearing. It's, uh, Let's see that for the camera. Yeah. So you see that pop in Giorgio on this. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, it feels like a good it idea goes now. From, <laughs> it goes from pink I was to blue. Pink. Yeah, yeah purple. It was pink recently, right? Yeah. Last year. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was pink for a minute. Yeah. Did about a year or so on pink. I so. spent an evening on his couch with a lady. Mm. Really? What was I his did. Name? You I squired remember. a lady, a yeah. young lady, yeah, but, to but, his couch? But, but yeah, we just stumbled back to, to his place. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this a time when you watched him no. have sex? No, no, no. That was a different time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. How many yeah. times have you seen him have sex? I mean... I mean, I mean, he didn't know what was going on on the couch. Tell. He was in his room. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I Did you send him texts? Like, yeah. 
like FaceTime him from his couch. I mean, he could probably hear the breathing. Yeah. So oh, we, yeah. Well, you're yeah. And, and yeah, by the way, the place sure. he's uh, he's referring to was more of a studio setup. So we had the uh, we had walls, quote unquote, but we had the open concept above it. So we're fine. I understand. Oh yeah, the walls oh, didn't hit the yeah. ceiling. <laughs> Shit, they I were forgot about like that. Tito's but we no, were yeah, no, we no. were we, we were a lot of Tito's deep. I bet his his breathing was labored too. <laughs> uh, when, when is your new album coming out? I feel like I'm asking that from everybody today, but I, I want new music that Well, bad. he has a new side project. Yeah, I want new music that bad. What is it? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's a side project, yeah, which we're referring to, is a band called Love and Death. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Head from Corn, myself, JR, who's been in a couple different bands. He was in Corn, right, filling in for uh, Brian. That's how it kind of started. But uh, yeah, so we went there, and uh, I've worked with them in the past, and then just kind of during this quarantine. You got your quarantinis, you have your break, you got creative space, and it made sense. That was a cool creative project. So that's going to be, it's going to be November. Let's, let's shoot for Black Friday. Great. You're, you're one yeah, of those. Yeah, you can. Why not? You're one of those guys, by the way, that's great on the road, great at writing, and also a great studio musician. Oh, I as appreciate well. that. Sometimes yeah. it's not. Thank sometimes you, you, you don't it. get all three. Like you've done shit for Jared before. He's like, yep. hey. I kind of fucking need this. He's like, hey, I'll do this. And this fucking comes into his inbox. He's like, well, we were talking fuck? earlier about. This is already produced. Uh, what the fuck happened here? One Matthew or Matt Best. Matthew. Yes. yes. Yeah. Matt Matthew. With one Matthew. I call him Matthias. Matthias. Yeah. Matthias. Yeah, with one Matthias. Matthias. Oh, is it? I don't know what part of the country. One T. The second T is silent. He's from yeah. Southern California. Santa yeah. Barbara, actually. Mm. So yeah. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. We digress. <laughs> He's pretty. But I also, uh, I th it was probably maybe last time I saw some of you guys. Yes. Um, Got, got to record down there at your your old spot yeah, in Salt Lake. Yeah, we uh we so Jared blacked out. You and I, you were this is this is you one of say the, that very derogatory. I no, I'm like, not. You yeah, say yeah, that. No, the way that you yeah, but no the judgment. way that you said that no you judgment. almost sound like that wasn't that normal back. behavior. No, it was it. definitely yeah. normal. Right. <laughs> I want to repurpose it. I had worked at Black Rebel gonna, for like two weeks at the point, and we're sitting in the studio in the Salt Lake office, and uh, Jason is just playing every Breaking Benjamin song in front of us. And we're just sitting there. I was asked to. Like, this was not self promotion. No, this was are, are you we kidding? Like, this I song? like it. No, we yeah. were like, please play your I like music it, yeah. while yeah. we listen. And he was yep. like, all right, cool. Did it? Just played it. And we're There's like, no proof that Dope. I've got of videos. This. That is one great. I've got thing a video right here. About so. Warsnop is he will just if he gets a guitar, he'll just he's play his whole repertoire yeah, in care, the yeah. kitchen yeah. and sing like like he did it at my parents' house. He's a man of the just, people. But, he's a man of the people. Or snob. The top so four of the you. fucking You're cruise. A man of the people. Yeah, like in the middle and of the night. Yeah, we were at the middle of the night with a private acoustic show with mm. Danny. But it's like to us that is these are moments, Jason. Yeah, uh, like nobody gets it's to not experience. Normal. Let's understand this. It's not like, normal I'm for us. Merely a carpenter with a hammer. It's a tool. It's part of my craft. That's what I say about my penis. You know, I'm merely Jesus, a simple carpenter, uh, and that's my cross. Is uh, my penis. No better man than JC. Yeah, that's what know, I said. The only thing that I'm better than him is is uh, I'm a year older. You know, he's he died at 33. I'm 34. No, and you're I feel good about you're it. at least 50 years old. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think you. Yeah, how how do you think Ross is? 52. 52. At Not least. even yeah. close. I just still had my older, 34th by the way. birthday. That's but, adorable. Uh, still older than Jesus, and you're welcome mm. for that. Uh, I want this new album, by the way. I want some fucking new. We're music gonna get there. We're gonna get there. The and, and that, that, by the way, this is not procrastination. This is this is uh, this, this is a strategy. strategy. Yeah, for okay. sure. If you will, of course, and you got to. And I will. You got to. You don't want to be one of those people that has an opportunity and fucking bust your nut early. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't. Yeah. Want, you don't want to be this fucking. Stuff matters. I mean, yeah, all, it does. Th that's the thing. So you guys have worked in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. it, th th you don't. These aren't macro decisions or micro decisions that lead up to a big point, right? Right. So th there's strategy and everything you got to do. And for me, I'm I'm, I'm here. Drinking. drinking at yes. what is it? it it doesn't matter what time it is okay yeah there's yeah. no reason to be saying yeah. time as we've, a virgin <laughs> we've been as a virgin yeah we've been there's no yeah. reason to say what there's time there's no is. reason to say time <laughs> i'm it's almost noon. that's it's fucking that's noon. we're not time stamping anything that's no, yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's more judgy than there's me a pool saying here. he blacked out and i wore my pool shorts yeah. underneath these ones let's cut really? that bravo bravo, yeah. bravo that's because all of your underwear are dirty cut that my fucking wife we did a show on that denise did you saying bravo 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 yeah What's that? Somebody told no, her. No, it's a real housewife shit. So, somebody told her on Real Housewives of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Beverly Hills that if you scream out bravo, bravo, bravo and point to every camera, that means they can't film anymore. False, well, by the way. It's not true. False. Why and would that so be you true? Have all That's of just this true as off record. Of Denise Richards saying bravo, bravo, bravo every time she's saying something fucked up. And it's like, hey, man, we're not. Cutting the that, camera, that like why just still a, going? Oh, that's just a, a network little gold tiny mind. joke. Yeah, yeah that's it was probably a four chan thing, like the OK symbol. Correct. So like, somebody fucked her. But why would you believe that? That's well, stupid. Here's the also, problem. She starts admitting to threesomes. Um, getting oh, uh, own it, own it though. That's why what I said. You? That's what yeah. I said. Like, own it. Yeah. 
Uh, Jared, uh, one of the things she admitted to, and I'll ask you about this, if you've done it, was a couple's massage where mm. they get you off at the end, her and the guy. So her oh, husband. Never done that. Really? I mean, that sounds cool. So I you, would experience that. You lay that. next to each other. Yeah, I would experience it. And that. then after you get the massages, uh, she gets her fucking pussy diddled, oh. and then uh, he get, the we husband don't gets jacked off. We don't diddle No. But you're in front of each other. I would, I would be fine with that. Yeah, you would be. You'd be great with that. Mm. Yeah. You'd be great I, with you that. Know. Uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Social media, Jason Rao. That's J. Yeah, but a J A S E N R A U C H. That's all you need. Those are you two names that no one can spell if they don't know you. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. New I, album I, comes out next week. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Black Friday. <laughs> on sale. That's it. Every on sale. Uh, stores everywhere. Yeah. No, what's I mean, the name of the What's the name of the, the project? Name of the album? Love. So, and Love and Death. Death. Love and Death project. And what's the name of the the album that's coming out or whatever it is? I think. It's about my pay grade, man. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not the creative guy. <laughs> it's still it's a working title. <laughs> Can I working say that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, here's the deal. So everybody knows their lane, right? Yeah. That's where success happens. Is you, yeah, you, yeah. You find we talked location. about this yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, for sure. Man, the artwork, the videos, the concepts. <sighs> it's not my... I'll do what you I, do. Uh, anytime it's I, not my thing. Anytime so, I get out of my depth, people sometimes take it as me being rude. I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, You're no, a professional. No. Yep. Do it. Yeah, hundred percent. And if delegation, then we'll look at it later. And if it looks great, we'll go with it. If it doesn't, we'll adjust. Yeah, true professionals will say that. Better professionals will take credit for it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you name the album uh, "Cuties," at least it'll get a lot of uh, respect from Hollywood. Yeah, trending. Nailed it. Boom, boom. Trending. Trending. Cuties, the album, and then oh, it's just, Netflix uh, still fighting it. It's yeah. funny. I think it's and, funny. And all they lost papers. nine billion dollars in one day. Goddamn right they did. What? Mm. What shareholders are going into that board meeting and go? You know what? We're taking. We're taking our stand this on this one. I want to die on. You know, yeah. that's the one. You know what? I'm really As glad we're nine daughters. bill down. And, and, do. and Newsom Brutal. signed that bill. SB 145. By Fuck the way. all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck sorry, all that? of them. What's that? What does she do? Newsome, yeah, Gavin Newsome. Newsome. Yeah, she, Newsome. Yeah. Yeah, 145. She, she signed that SB 145 that they, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, yeah. as a as a, a father to daughter. Decrim- yeah, decriminalization. No, it's of uh, yes. Pedophilia. Uh, uh, it's they, a normalization. They, they saw yeah. an, they saw an imbalance in the ability to now, uh, to fuck with kids. We don't equalize penalties. We reduce them. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't that, that's that fucked be a up? Problem for me. I don't. When it comes to kids, you you equalize the fucking accessibility and not the penalty. How, like, what the fuck goes through your brain to even think about that? Uh, and then to get everybody else on board. These people Again, are fucking trajectory. batshit crazy. Yeah. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. I've never yes. seen anything like this in this my This is a wave. Life. I think there's people trying to ride, right? Mm-hmm. So we're very divided. We're very split on certain things. And if you support certain things, by default, you do this and I hate you. Right. On both sides, I will say that. However, uh, I think there is a finite point in there where it's fathers. Sure. Um, you, you look at entertainment. Mm-hmm. You look at... Uh, uh, the industry that we're in, you look at politics, you look at whatever. At the end of the day, you, you're a decent human as, as a parent. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're not a parent, I, I, I know friends that party like crazy, mm-hmm. but if they don't have kids, if they did, I think they're like, yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, changes yeah. shit, yeah. you know? So I, I don't know where we stand now because that's what's being diluted, I think. Yeah, but why, why, does, having, why does having kids make you give you an no, option to I not be a, a decent t- fucking person? I agree. <laughs> However, but to some people, let me just say this, I think it is a tangible uh, thing for them to grasp onto to have put value in. Correct. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not diluting that. I'm, I'm, there, there's value there for sure, but it does, as it does change shit. So I think you get a lot of um, the community we're talking about that supported that bill. That um, they feel, whether it's excluded, I don't want to say they. That's aggressive, right? Yeah, liberals. Thank you. You can say it. Yeah. I'll say it. I don't give a shit. That, it's just a matter of, I, I think we're, um, we're, we're trying to be divided. Mm-hmm. We're trying to define, there's a line in the sand right now. Which side do you stand on? You know, it's one of those things. And so, man, we're just trying to do our best. I, I, I am in a band, and I don't think anybody cares what I think. It's not my platform. I don't want it to be my platform. It doesn't uh, have to be a platform. I, I actually though. love that answer. You're, you're, though, you're, yeah. a, you're a normal human being with a normal opinion, and we if we and can't, three daughters. Yeah, <laughs> and three daughters too. So you have some stake in the game. So if you if you're not allowed to just come out and say, "Here's what I think," and then you have to fucking what you have to be able to say what you think, and you have to be able to be wrong in public without losing everything. I'm for okay it. with being like, wrong. You have to, no, you you as an individual and yeah. everybody else has to be able to be in, in society at large. You have to be able to be wrong in public, yeah. and that be okay. But, like but you have I, to be able to adjust from the fact that you were wrong at some point, get right, 
and then just live the rest of your fucking life without getting canceled and all this other stupid bullshit. Because otherwise, I, people just fucking pick their sides and they will fight. Agree, if yeah. you're going to get canceled, you're going to fight back. And you might be fighting for the wrong cause. Well, if you can just say, I was wrong, and that be the end of the fight, you can just end the fight right there. I, I agree. It's I fucking agree. stupid. Well, here's the other thing, that th- this weird dichotomy of, I think there's, everybody loves a, uh, like a hero story. They come mm-hmm. back. Oh, man, I was a piece of shit. They know I'm not. Oh, oh no, it's him. celebrated more than people that didn't. We like, just talked about this Do you see Friday. how many times they uh, have, like, no shit. oh, this guy was on meth for 15 years yeah. and blah, 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 but yeah, look yeah. at how he turned it around. Like, hey, I was never on meth. I served the military and fucking worked really hard, but <laughs> <laughs> no one's bowing the- down and buying my fucking book. <laughs> I was in the military, and I've been doing drugs and drinking for almost 30 years now. Oh, and shit. And no one gives me any credit. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Everybody can find you. Oh, whoa, whoa, who's here Jason. today? Oh. Who's here today? Look at that. We were this a is a, a Come on in, bas- Rob. Come on in, Rob. Thank you for being here, Jason. Uh, hey, come back later. We're drinking all day here. Yeah, at Jason yes. Rao, J-S-E-N-R-A-U-C-H. Correct. Instagram, everything. New album yeah. coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> and course, again, right yeah. we are live from Rob O'Neill's charity golf tournament. Please tell us about your organization again, what everybody is doing here. There's a lot of fantastic celebrities here, and we greatly appreciate you having us. No, it's awesome, and thanks for, uh, for coming. And, and I appreciate that, you know, I don't drink very much, but I always wear a mask. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, those yeah. are two lies. <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be two lies and a truth. So what's <laughs> right. that? Uh, yeah, I'd yeah. like to differ. Delta's got something to say yeah, about aren't that. Aren't you a yeah. speaker at their next event? <laughs> <laughs> no, but th- thanks for this. This is a special operators transition foundation. Mm-hmm. We got uh, special operators who are, uh, you know, getting out of the military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, all that stuff. Uh, men and women who are looking for their second careers, making uh, the world a better place, best uh, people you can hire, just mm-hmm. because of what we all learned in the military. Um, Effective communication, leadership, asking questions. When you're wrong, you admit it. Mm-hmm. We'll get in a room and negotiate. You know, you know, it, it, we were fun. just talking about that with Jason. You have to, in public, you have to be able to be wrong publicly. Yes. Admit that you were wrong and then move on and be right then. Yeah. Otherwise, if you get canceled, then you just, like, if you're getting attacked like that, you're going to stop, you're going to dig in, and you're just going to be wrong aggressively now. That's it. That's yeah. fucking mm-hmm. stupid. It's ridiculous. Like, in team yeah. rooms, in infantry rooms, wherever the fuck you are in life. Being right is a matter of life and death, and that's one of the lessons we learn, and that's why operators are so course, important yeah, to the fucking yeah, American yeah, business community. Yeah. And then something else, too, is that when someone gets in a position of leadership, what I learned is little things. When morale is high, the team works better. And of when, a, when a boss can occasionally say uh, please and thank you for normal work, yeah. make them feel like you're part of the yeah. team. You don't need to, yeah. but we know that. It's like, hey, that was a great job. Kick yeah. And, uh, and I'm working with you guys. I, I wouldn't have a problem saying, "God damn, you're handsome." Well, <laughs> there's yeah, a, I, he, he was with, looking yeah. down. Yeah. This, no, he was uh, <laughs> right, no. right towards here. There's um, actually an old quote by James Dobson from Focus on the Family. I'm not a religious dude, but this is a religious book about raising children, and it says the quote is. The more often you catch your children doing the right thing, the less often you'll catch them doing the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, certainly. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's, that's, it's, that's brilliant. it's brilliant. brilliant. It really yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's it's about holding people accountable. And, uh, you know, for businesses out there, um, if you're not hiring veterans in some of these positions, you're fucking crazy. You and I talked about this on the show a couple yeah. months mm-hmm. ago. You guys have more life experience than any other dick coming out of some You can state train college. somebody to yeah, well, do Excel well, spreadsheets. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, you you got to figure that how all the, the, this the, uh, cancel culture. I would much rather hire someone that graduated from Fort Benning than I would from Yale. Yeah, right. of course. Seriously. Come on. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, you just learn how to how to be a be a grown up. You learn yeah. how to how, you just learn how to, how to get shit done. How to like, do oh, shit. I mean, just the value in someone leaving the confines of the United States of America and seeing what other countries are like, and they go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, it's not that bad. That, that flag over there is not offensive. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Speaking of cancel culture, we got to bring it up. You got canceled by Delta. I did by Delta Airlines, and it's part of the appeasement process uh, <laughs> uh, because they're just, they want to they wanna bend the knee to the, the, the radical left. And the, I always say, it's a Winston Churchill quote about appeasement appeasing is feeding the crocodile, hoping he eats you last. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to come for yep. you. Mm-hmm. Have you thought about, like, this would be really funny, and we can help you with it? Maybe we draft a treaty from Rob O'Neill and Delta, and we submit it like a PDF. <laughs> with like I, it's, it's the treaty. I was I was just hoping to m- maybe get sponsored by like United. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like 
<laughs> just post the treaty. Like, hey, I just submitted good. this yes, treaty yeah, yeah. to Delta. Exactly. Let's see if they no, take it's it. It's very similar to the Treaty of Versailles. We use quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was very, we use very quill <laughs> and ink, and uh, it's very professional. I think you're going to love it. Uh, yeah. So what was the final verdict with Delta? Did they eventually apologize? No, no, Are you no, no, allowed no. back? They, they, well, nothing happened. I, I took a mask off because for their weird contract is I have a mask unless you're eating. Mm-hmm. And so they, they brought me chips and a water, and I took the mask off to eat and drink what they just gave me. And I, the hypocrisy. I'm like, oh, now we're safe as I have my Cheez-Its. Right. And I just took a picture. And the unfortunate thing, I did put that I'm not a pussy. And there was a dude in a Marine Corps hat behind me that I didn't notice. Mm. And uh. I wasn't, call, I would never call him Marine. I fucking love Marines. Um, but but uh, then we took off and I landed. And all of a sudden, New York Times, New York Post are all over. And, and uh, they got you know, pressure. New York Times hates you, don't oh, they? they hate you. Yeah. They well, fucking I was coming from an event to support Derek Van Orden. Navy SEAL was running uh, uh, for Congress in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's obviously a Republican. And the New York Times doesn't like Republicans. So they're just, they're Weird. Yeah, we're not odd. Weird. You know what they do like though is cuties. Yeah, oh, they love oh, cuties from Netflix. The, the, the defense, we just about that the one. defense wow. articles. You know, in the Washington Post. You know, you got to talk to is my brother Tom O'Neill. I'll yeah. bring Tom over yeah. in, in one second. <laughs> okay. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. Are you just hold, come take mine. Yeah. I've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've got Let's one final, on. final question for you because I need Tom in here for this because I want to get this live on air. By the way, because yeah. we were at your house last night. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I was told you were there. Yeah. You had us over. Beautiful house. Your your wife's amazing. Decorated amazing. We go upstairs. There's a full arcade oh you and your brother are going aggressive pac-man competition for a thousand dollars rob i was there but i just want the american people 9.3 listeners (laughs) 9.3 million (laughs) listeners to know who won that game and how much money was on the line last thousand bucks tom's the man he's a black belt in pac-man i've been i've been training for years my (laughs) wife bought me that game for my birthday (laughs) <laughs> and you still got house. Have you t- one try? Have, yes. you, have you kept track of the score over the years? Who's? I mean, obviously he's in the uh, league. But. Yeah, no, no, no. Been so, Tom. so Tom beat the high score last night. Yeah, crush um, you, sir. I mean, absolutely. Oh, you came into it. his house and beat his <laughs> yeah, high score. Yeah, that's correct. Fucked up. So dude. now the high score that is on in your house for the rest of your life no, is no, no, going to no, be your not brother. The rest of my life. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be there for a while. I did the same shit at his house in Butte, Montana. He has a damn game, and he beat me again. You're not going to see Rob for six months, and he's going to come out. Long ass yeah. beard and hair is like I be fucking beat him, man. <laughs> I fucking did it. I'm, I'm gonna come out with a big beard and a small dick, and I'm gonna crush that. Guy. <laughs> it's like how do you how do you do sibling rivalry with a guy who shot Bin Laden? It's Pac Man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Pac Man. Exactly. Mike Trump. Hey, look. I, you I know you've guy. got a tee off. I've got one weird question sure. for you. There is a Bin Laden uh, doc that is is just dropping right now for National Geographic. Mm-hmm. There is a, a story on there that there was a hundred gigabytes worth of American pornography on there. Uh, yeah, but what they were doing was they were putting messages. They were encoding them mm. messages. Nat Geo should have just asked me. I would have told them they got somebody else. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So well, I, the guy that did it said uh, he said because we were talking about shooting Bin Laden, and he said, you know, I was the uh, I was the first reporter in that room. I said I was the first American in that room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good flex. What were they, what were they encoding yeah, on the porn though? Uh, missions uh, cross border, getting them across, and then giving them to uh, Al Qaeda Al Qaeda in uh, like Coringal Valley and stuff like that. Really? Because yeah. that's what that's what Dan and Jared say all the time. Oh, well, I'm I mean, watching. You know what he had more than <laughs> was he yeah. had uh, opium. Really? really, a ton of opium. Wow. I mean, you can barely fit it all in your cargo pockets. <laughs> <laughs> There's no law that says you can't steal their money, but you can take the drugs, right? You can take the shit I out of the think. Drugs. Yeah. yeah, it's called Nobody's Christmas. Miss you that. know what's good when a and guy the business from, is called from Christmas shopping. He says, "Smoke them if you got them." <laughs> <laughs> I got to golf. Thank yeah, you, sure, buddy. Rob. Thanks, thanks for having we'll us today. We'll Absolutely. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. Have fun Tommy, I, I, hey, real quick, I yes, want to say I'm proud yeah. of you. Last night, the display you put on. You know, the pressure was on, but I think I, you know, it was it was a road playoff game, was what it was. It was before you lost your first guy. How many? You had like. 270 or something no, I was, like that? No, about 130, I think. About 130, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, I, it it was, was an Jesus unbelievable Christ. display. Either way, I, Rob doesn't know this, but I told Dan and I, I was like, I'm going to get Tommy on the show today <laughs> and let the world know about his dominance over you. That way you always have this over him, no yeah. matter what. Because I'm sure he'll we'll, always be like, no matter what, Dad, I killed Bin Laden. We'll clip this so video yeah, well, and send uh, it to you. We love your dad, by the way. Your dad's awesome. He's oh, awesome. Thank he was you, on dad. the show. He was on the show a couple months oh, ago. Oh, yeah. He had a great yeah, time. Yeah, he's great. Oh, he's the best. He's the best. <laughs> but I wanted to get it out there that you destroyed Rob and Pac-Man, <laughs> and you own him, and you got $1,000 last night. So It was it was a good night. And Wait, you know, what's that poor? Pork chop in Montana. Oh, the John's pork chop sandwich. John's oh, pork the, chop there's, sandwich. there's two of them. There's actually two different sandwiches in Butte. There's the John's pork chop sandwich, which I'm kind of, 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 of I'm 
that's my favorite. And then yeah. there's the Wop Chop that. Uh, ah. I don't know which one he was the Wop Chop was the one that, uh, that was on uh, Rob's special. They, they did they filmed it there mm, at the Freeway yes. Tavern. Yeah, that's yes, yes, one, yes. Yeah. And by Wop the way, Chop. for the people at home, the, uh, Wop does not stand for wet ass pussy. It is a <laughs> different yeah. Wop Chop. So yeah. uh, <laughs> letting that be known to the people. But I do think Cardi B and Rob have an album coming out. Soon, I hope so. so. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. That'll Tommy, thanks for being on, man. Thanks for thanks for thanks for being here, man. We had we had a pleasure with you and your family last night, and thank you for having us over last night, for real. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Take care. Life is weird. Life is weird. Is it? Kids, is it, it is. It Life is. is unfair. What was that, oh, Malcolm? God, I'm still hot, hot Ross. I'm still hot. Still hot, and I get it. We've, uh, I've Steve Bannon up. I put some uh, suntan lotion on. Uh, I actually drank some water. <laughs> Why? You're the first one. Yeah. Out of all, all right. Of us, well, by I mean, the way. I'll get some booze after this. We, I, got, we, just, I do. we just got railed on by the uh, the event promoter. It was like, hey, man, you guys have been drinking all day. No water. And then Dan Dan watered up. We didn't. And they made a comment about my attire. Yeah. So I want to get into your attire um, because, look. Wait, where's your Obviously, mask? I directed you in Range 15. Yeah. It appears as if those are the same shorts. They are. I mean, we had to have 20. Stand up for the people. Can they see them? Twenty. We had twenty pairs. We did twenty pairs of the same <laughs> outfit. And look, I even have another piece of Range Fifteen. I have my bandana. Shut the I'm fuck up. I'm using as a up. mask. No way. Yeah, because I got twenty of these. Look at you. I'm proud of you. You've um, not shopped for clothes in thirty years. No, I mean, I, I would say yeah. That's, no, because Black true. Rifle's got the dopest apparel there it's is. It's either Black Rifle or you don't need it. Or yeah. Drinking yeah. Bros. Yeah. 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 All the stuff, our friends that come on yeah. with brands and yes. everything like that. Yep. Like, I mean, I've got like 10 of Charlie shirts that I really like. Like Charlie shirts. Charlie makes great stuff. Of, yeah. The low life apparel. Yeah. They're so comfy. Mm -hmm. And District like, 13 love it. as well, yeah. I think, is one of them. Okay. We, we yeah. got stopped in uh, the, the Nashville airport with uh, Kirill's gear on yesterday. We're yeah, assholes big fans of Kirill. Stuff, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everybody's right. unaware. He's getting, he's getting a lot more mainstream <laughs> these days. A lot more people. Are, like, Everybody. I, I wear his like, shit pictures. Yeah. yeah, I wear his shit everywhere, so it's like people stop me all the time like, oh, where'd you get that? We need I'm to. Like, yeah, LindaFindGold.com. He needs to come back. He needs to come back when I'm around. I want to meet him. Oh, he's, I he's see him. the fucking best. We'll go down to his factory okay. that we can see all of it. He's got yeah. uh, a million dildos in there. What is Giorgio uh, doing over there? He's super fucking with everything. What are you, who are you looking at back there, Giorgio? <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, there's some asshole back here. <laughs> yes! Son. Come on oh, in. Oh, God. What is that on in? Oh, come on. Is that, is that say... <laughs> Can you hold that? <laughs> I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to hold this up, Giorgio. Oh, Can you? Guys, you guys are Goggins dicks. was a better tack P than JT. Oh, wow. my God. Oh, my God. Welcome. Come and grab a microphone. You're the dude who is literally internet famous for all of these fucking signs everywhere. Um, yeah. And you know Jared? I love it. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, we just started messaging recently. We're taking it slow, but uh, yeah, it's it's been. Wild. You want to get to slow. <laughs> you yeah. want to get to know each other before you go full like reverse. No, cowboy, he, for he was yeah. he was great. He did yeah. the uh, album cover for my and Matt's 2020 the song. No shit. Oh, that's put right. Out yeah. That music video that's last right. week. Yeah, yeah. So he's our album art, and like I, what, what's great is I did not have an idea for the album art at all, and as soon as I pulled up Instagram, yep. first account, I'm like, that's it. Send him yeah. a message. Yeah. The yeah. hilarious thing yeah. about you is you're one of those guys from the internet where literally everybody knows, knows what you look yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Knows your signs and all of that stuff. I, I feel embarrassed to say this, but I don't know your actual name. Um. Well, that's. I mean, that's fine. That's. That's all, actually all kind of part of it. But my name's Zach. Zach. Yeah. What's your yeah. last name? Are you allowed to say that? Or? Is it uh, Zach with a K or a, or a C? Or just a C. Uh, it's but, actually with an H. Isn't that Zach? Oh. Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. Zach. Zach. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Zach. Like yeah. the options were K or C H. I mean, if you ask my grandmother, she spelled it with K my whole life. But hmm. yeah. You know, I don't know why she did that. Why are you actually. talking shit about your grandma, bro? I'm just. It was just Is weird. She alive? She, Do you have uh, a sign for your grandma? Yeah. Uh, he's got a sign. Grandma not spelled my name wrong. That was Mima. She always spelled it with a K, and she'd tell me that was the way to spell it. How did you get into it, and how? How did your signs become yeah, memes did you like all around first, the world? It's like, so fucking hey, I'm weird, take this dude. Um, so the long and short of it is, I got I got really bored during quarantine, and I saw there was this guy, dude, with a sign. Uh huh. Um, which is, I don't know, it's fuck Jerry. That's really what the management yeah, company yeah, is yeah, behind yeah, him. Yeah. And so I became fast. Fuck Jerry is great, by the way. Oh, yeah. no, they're great. They're one of the yeah. first like meme media companies from Facebook way back in the day. Correct. One of yeah. the best. Yeah. I mean, except for the whole Fire Island thing, they, they've been pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> but, um, Wait, Firefest? Yeah. yeah. Oh, They yeah. did that, yeah. Fuck yeah. Jerry was behind yeah. them. Yeah. Well, they were like, and they were getting all these internet celebrities on board to come fucking help and stuff. Yeah. 
and, and they got called out in the open, and yeah. it just went bad for him. But uh, <laughs> no, I just became fascinated with this concept of saying things uh, that like common nomenclature and mm-hmm. just things kind of like common thought. And military veteran internet cultures really kind of high and low. Like it's really kind of really heavy handed of this is funny, this is funny, this is funny when it's not. And um, I just started writing stuff on cardboard signs, just like stupid things like you say to each other, like uh, acronyms or on a weird language that like you only hear in the military. And um, I remember the day I did it, it started in March and <laughs> I was I was getting ready to shut it down like May 1st and then it just started to really take off on its own. I, dude, I, I, I've literally seen you everywhere, um, in particular throughout this election cycle <laughs> yeah. and what's going on over the summer. Are you planning signs based on what is happening in popular culture? How does that work? Um, so some of it has to do with that. A lot of it's really just submissions that people send in. Because, uh, the whole idea is that I made like this character and that anyone can share their story or like a perspective or like a sign or whatever it is. Um, and then they can be a part of the conversation. So like mm-hmm. it's all very deliberate in like the outfit I have and everything else because I wanted to like build a community where everyone's evolved and just kind of like open source a meme page. Sure. Is the idea. I mean, I hope it's working. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just wild. Like It is, man. It's like, like as soon as you walked in today, I knew who you were. Again, I don't know your name. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah. I know your fucking signs. Yeah. And, and it's such well, an well, odd. The look. It's yeah. green shirt, backwards hat, yeah, yeah. glasses. Yeah. It's just my gym outfit. <laughs> so, so, like, a, I mean, when I got out, when I was I was in the Marines, so when I got out, I had like twenty um, skivvy shirts, so twenty of these skivvy shirts, and I was like, well, I'll just do that. I'm not gonna go to Lululemon and get something. Of course, so I just be seventy nine dollars. Yeah, so I just started wearing that. And I was this like, shirt was one hundred and eighteen dollars, actually. Was it really? Yeah, it's a nice shirt. It yeah. is a nice, and it's, it's a nice shirt, but it's not worth one hundred eighteen. No, 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 not. not at all. What was the first big sign that got you out into the internet world where you were like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, where, I can't believe. Where did you see did the this. biggest jump on your Instagram? Yeah. Um, I'd say the first big one was uh, I. It was. Uh, not all. Some, what is it? Rangers. It was the one about Ranger School. Um, going to ranger school doesn't make you a ranger, I think it was. <laughs> okay. And that, that really, the amount of people that, like, came out, like, attacking me, attacking my tattoos and, like, my general attire, because from what I understand, it's, I mean, Dan would know better than me. It's a leadership course, but in, it's a tab, not a scroll, right? That's the thing? Well, I, I, I'm regiment. not a ranger of any sort. <laughs> I didn't go to school at all, but, yeah, that's the no, argument. I, I, just like, the army part. I, you're, you're a fucking, uh, what do they call it, like, when you're in the regular army, but you have a tab? You're a tab, not a fucking regiment guy or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a tab, yeah. tab, not a scroll. Tab, you're not a, a scroll. You're, you're a tabbed guy. Yeah. 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 And then after that, I just kept my foot on the gas. And I don't know when it was, the Marines came out with this marketing campaign that said every Marine is a rifleman. And uh, that's actually just not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's no. Like, no, it's not true. It's um, no. it was just a marketing campaign. It's like, oh, it's your secondary job. And like that was my actual job in the military. So like I never like walked in a chow hall covered in blood and was like, I need 12 brave souls to go do the Lord's work. Yeah, no, I just would have took their am- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have took their ammo. Like I would have done that. So, um, and the uh, the amount of hate that I got was uh, was was beautiful. We can say. be different things, by the way, in life. Yeah. yeah, not everybody has to be the fucking tough thing. You can be different stuff. Yes. Well, yeah. So that's my fun. argument. Serve different it, roles. Is that yeah. it's uh, it's a gateway drug to a full blown stolen valor addiction. Yeah. Like saying every yeah. marine's a rifleman. Like I never walked in a hangar and was like every marine's a pilot. You know. Jump in there, but people say they grab get my the keys job. to the to the plane. I mean, yeah, you yeah. should try it. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, but every apparently. marine, but every marine, it might be worth everyone. it. Yeah, every marine is everything. Is so. everything? Yeah. That's the new campaign. Yeah, so start collecting the paychecks Actually, from some of those general that officers. That <laughs> every <laughs> marine is everything. Yeah. I so like how that. many submissions are you getting a day for your sign zone? I mean, it, it goes in it goes in like waves. Um, I at, at least ten a day. Um, but like then there's stuff that happens that's just like next level. Um. Like one thing I one thing I've always noticed is like nobody hates successful veterans like veterans. Yeah. And so that that was, one was funny. And like, I remember I it was like around, and then Tim Kennedy was like, "Hey, can I share this?" I was like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure yeah. bud." Yeah. And then it just it just blew up. I mean, we went up like seven plus thousand more followers, and then over a hundred requests. But in that's a day. how it happens. Even yeah. with Tim Kennedy and the Rogan thing, he jumped yeah. to half a million followers after the Trump Biden thing You're that he kidding. posted. No. No, holy! Yeah, he's up shit. to like seven fifty now. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, higher wow. than that now. But yeah, it was that was that was yesterday. But, that's uh, insane. Yeah, yeah. And, but, and that's what happens. But you know, it's also the content putting yourself out there. That's yeah. such a good point. That, I mean, just with that though, like that was always my argument. Is like, 
He's at 822 now. Eight, yeah, he was at 750. He was at 750. He was at 350 before yeah. Rogan. Now he was at 750 yesterday. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. up 70,000 since yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's just in, it's just insane. Like even that he did that, it's just like weird that I'm text messaging Tim Kennedy in general and then like Dakota shared it and then like it just kind of kind of steamrolls on its own, but I mean the statement is true like the amount of things people say about like oh I don't like this company or whatever like veterans as a whole tend and military culture tend to act like there's this pie of like um validity out there and that someone else's success will either hinder or hurt Yeah, but theirs. you know what's weird? But it's I not don't true. see veterans getting on going, "Man, fuck Target and the owner of Target." Or, yeah. "Fuck fuck Lululemon, fuck Under Armour." No, it's and all- it's like we're the ones that actually went to war with you, fucking asshole. Yeah. Like, and we we we've found some success, and now you just want to say fuck us. Why? Like you're yeah. a, you're a sellout because you were successful. But then they turn around on the same platform and go, "You should be supporting veterans." Yeah. What? And, and then they probably drop like a buck fifty every time they go on your website too. So it's it's weird to like, I just don't understand it because there's enough things that are happening outside. Like, I don't think anybody's success hurts me at all. I. I think the community, anytime it moves forward, it, it's like a rising tide that lifts all boats. Yep, right. So, I, I don't know, but uh, I found it very interesting that, I mean, Tim was like, this is like the most true thing I've seen in a long time. Well, Tim's a great dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, like, I we will actually, say this. We, we posted about this three years ago. It was like yeah. a picture of a snowflake and like nobody's more consistently butthurt than the modern veteran. Like, we, we're all fucking tough dudes that do all this tough shit, and everybody's fucking bitching and tearing each other down all the time. How about we fucking do what we talk about? Yeah. Like, stop talking about how together we are and start fucking acting like it for a change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jesus I mean, Christ. I couldn't agree more. Um, there's another Instagram account I really like a lot. Can I say who it is? Oh, yeah. Fire away. Uh, Pizza Strike. Oh, yeah. yeah. He has Pizza whole- Strike does my patches. I've sold stuff through Pizza okay, Strike yeah. with wet boys. He's funny as shit because his, he's true. Hey, but his, here's his the, here's stuff the, is like a saber to the heart. But, he, but here's, yeah. here's the other thing that's a great example is like you felt like you had to ask us. What's your platform? No, but we don't care. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, like, I love Pizza Strike. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, dude. And, and we're always honest about people we're fans of and everything else. Like you, you never have to ask. And that, that should change where it's like, hey, man, whoever's putting out great content and great shit, we should promote them. Like. Yeah. We're going to have I mean, a company th- on after this who's making great bourbon. And yeah. it's like, that's the way it should be. This is the equivalent of of think locally, act globally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, take care of your fucking tribe first. Get your own house in order first. And then you get power from the fact that all of you guys are working at the same speed and the same mission. You know what I mean? Like, it's tug of war in life. Let's all get on the same side of the goddamn rope. Yeah. Like, human beings should not be on opposite sides of the rope. Maybe there's some asshole evil people over here. But human beings should be on the side of preventing, like, poverty and unnecessary death and, and suffering and shit like that. Let's all pull on that side of the rope. Well, and let all these assholes stay on the other side. You know well, what I mean? And all that stuff plays into, like, many different things, in my opinion, like why people don't reach out and ask for help, why people don't. And that's just with, like, mental health or even, like, how to enroll in, like, benefits and different things like that through the VA. I mean, I've, I've got two college degrees because I, <laughs> Same. Where'd you, go to, the where'd you go to school? I got three for the uh, military. I, I went to uh, Lipscomb University okay. in town. I know Lipscomb, uh, yeah. Yeah. Where else? Um, that's, that's where I ended up getting my uh, bachelor's and my uh, graduate degree. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah like that, That's an amazing feat. I'm a first-generation college graduate, actually. And, and yeah. that's an amazing yeah. feat. Like, that should be celebrated. Yeah, yeah, so I joined the Army with 22000 in student loans from a computer college. They paid for that. Mm-hmm. Then I got a fucking bachelor's degree after that. Mm-hmm. Which I already had one, but I got another bachelor's degree after that. Then I got a master's degree after that. Yeah. All in the government dime. Yeah. That's take advantage of the opportunities afforded to you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if somebody's like, fucking you, you're just mooching off the system, how, how about you get fucked, guys? Well, that's that pie yeah. again. They're like, yeah. uh, you're taking out of the pie. There's less pie, but it's not. No, it doesn't work like that. No, no the you pie know, keeps no, getting fucking yeah. No, there's like, $6 billion per year yes. that is allotted for fucking education for military veterans. By the way, 43,000 veterans get out of the, uh, the military every single year, every yeah. single month, rather. Every month, 43,000 veterans or 43,000 service members get out and become veterans. Mm -hmm. And there's $6 billion left on the table per year that's allotted for these people. And we don't know where that money goes. We've tried to find out. So I've I've worked with other companies before trying to fucking grab some of that money and bring it in and actually like SOTF, which we're here to fucking sponsor today or help with today. Mm -hmm. Like there's all these organizations that are trying to fucking do this stuff. But all this money gets earmarked for veterans. And where the fuck does it go? Because it's not going to the veterans. We know that. Yeah. It's, not, it's not only because the system's fucked up. We know it is, but it's also because veterans don't know how to ask for help. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we, we, just, we, don't know how, we don't know how to do it, especially fucking shooters. We don't know how to ask for help. Yeah. Like, you, you'll know when I need help. That's, our, that's in our mind.
because bullets are flying around. You'll know when I need help. Come mm-hmm. help me when I need help. I don't need to fucking tell you when I need help. But then it, it comes down to actual life shit. Mm-hmm. You need to tell me when you need help. You can't fucking go off on your own. You can't isolate yourself and all this bullshit. It doesn't work for normal people. It's especially not going to work for us who've become accustomed to having people you can rely on all the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just not going to work. And we do it all the time. And it's a big, it's a really good point. Honestly, yeah, yeah. And, and one of the things about Jared, um, look, I mean, we, we joke about Jared all the time, and he's, he's one of our best friends, but like, dude, you have to pry it out of him that he's an owner in Black Rifle Coffee. You never openly come out and say that to people and be like, oh, hey, no, man, whatever. I don't like, know how. Ever, <laughs> ever. But one would think, literally, we get hundreds of messages about it all the day. I'm like, oh, man, Jared must be whatever. It was like, no, dude. Like Jared never talks about it unless somebody needs something. And if somebody needs something, that's the only time you're like, hey, man, uh, yes, I own Black Rifle Coffee. I'll help you. I will do. I'll give you free coffee and all this other shit. And that's the cool shit about it. And that's the way it should be. However, it's just not the case a lot of times. Not. Well, and it's what I've. So the whole idea is like I open source, bring everyone in. And like I wanted to take away my identity. And like the name on the page is Warfighter. Right. So like and. It's getting to a point now people are sending in submissions like in the outfit and everything else because, again, I want them to share their story and it not be about them. I want them to be about like what they're trying to say, if it's funny or if it's you know a tough topic, whatever it is. And very early on, one of the things uh, my partner and I, a uh, guy I served with who helps me run the page because it very quickly got to a point where I couldn't do it by myself. Sure. Is that people would be like, thank you for tagging me. Like I couldn't believe you did that, and I was like, "What do you What do you mean? Like it was your idea? It was your photo? Like <laughs> I don't get way, it." By the everyone way, everyone was like that. To the point that a rising tide lifts all boats. Yeah. Uh, in social media, the more people you tag, the more hashtags you use, identifying exactly who and what you're talking about, the better the algorithm works. By the way, correct. Yeah. So <laughs> science, computer science, has proven the statement that a rising tide lifts all boats. Yeah. Like it is the actual fucking physical proof in the physical universe that that shit is real. So if you're out there and you're trying to, like, I'll only, if, if you think your success is independent, like, only if, if this person succeeds, I can't anymore. I, I, I recommend looking at the fucking social media algorithms and maybe studying Nash's equilibrium theory as well. But that might be a little bit too much for people. Ah, people are dumb. People are dumb. Where can everybody find you, by the way? Find me on Instagram, just veteran with a sign. Okay. And on Facebook, it's the same as well. Yeah. I, it's the simplicity it's that so, will it's always so good. It's so clean. get people. Yes. It's, it's brand easy. It's so nice. Yeah. I love it. Veteran with a sign. Hey, we appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thank um, you. Thanks for being on the show Pleasure. today. And uh, yeah, man, continued success. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You always make us laugh. We fucking enjoy well, that's it. That's the goal. That's great. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, we're going we're gonna to grab another veteran owned company here uh, Leatherwood Distillery. Speaking of veteran-owned companies, we've got Leatherwood Distillery on the show, who's been on the hole next to us the entire day. We've been getting rocked off of your old fashions. Cheers, sir. Oh, cheers. Thank you for cheers. your hospitality this because afternoon. This looks cheers. amazing. Oh, boy. Uh, whew. Mm. Yep. Yep. Jared, it's not like you good. know. You don't know. What are you talking about? That's I know everything about whiskey. No, you don't know. It's nice, man. You don't know. It's I know really that's nice. really good whiskey. It's great. Uh, it's been great all day. Tell the people uh, your name and how you started this company. Yeah, so my name's Andrew Lang. Mm-hmm. Um, I started making whiskey about 18 years ago in my garage. Uh, that's that's a very Evan Hafer origin story. It is, sound, yeah. I, f- I, I know I you were like- thinking the same thing. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> fucking Steve, Steve Jobs, fucking Bill Gates, who's kind of a cunt now, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Steve Jobs would be if he wasn't dead. Well, what did he do besides the iPhone? To be honest with you, you know, nothing. You need after he wasn't the iPhone. even a coder. That's what everybody said. No, nothing. But he didn't make a whiskey for Christ's sake, a bourbon, exactly. if you will. Yeah. Do you want to be known as the squiggy, sweaty alien in front of Congress, or the guy that made the fucking best bourbon? Best bourbon. Oh, best murdered, bourbon. And, by you, far. Mur- and you murdered by people far. on behalf of the 82nd Airborne. Talking about yes. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. that true? Were you in 82nd Airborne? I was in the 82nd for three years, and then I was in 5th Special Forces Group for 19 years. 19, yeah. What made Which you want to start? Yeah. Uh, I was in 3rd of the 325. He was in it- you were in Italy, right? Italy, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. It was wow. before 3 two- 93 so to 96. Mine and Derek White is your Blue by the Falcon. Way. Yeah, Blue yes. Falcon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, they I'll, don't blue, I'll blue falcon your ass in a second if you get in my way. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide to start making whiskey? You know, so I started making wine and make beer because it was kind of the cool toilet thing to wine? do. Did you ever make toilet wine? Yeah, did you ever Dude, make toilet I made, wine? I made Skittles wine out of an MRE. 
You want to hear that one? Yes. yes. Fire Are away. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Fire right. away. Hold on. That song, fire so, away. so let me let me set this up. Hey, <laughs> Skittles wine, go. <laughs> so this is a clip right here. We're in Kuwait waiting across the border for the invasion of Iraq. This is 2002. Yeah. Okay. And one of my buddies is like, they all know I make wine and beer. So they're like, hey, dude throws me a fucking MRE and he's like, can you make wine out of something? I was like, maybe. Is there sugar in it? So I took the Skittles and, and I melted yes. the Skittles down. So that sugar. And then I took the bread and crumbled yeast, it yeah. up. It's got yeast yep. in it. Put it in the sugar water and it let it ferment for about a month and it created wine. How so, did it taste? Fucking horrible. <laughs> it was so disgusting. But look. But everybody got What do you think the proof right was? Up. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was. Did you guys just go through and wrap fuck a fucking whole pallet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We made, dude, we had these water. Like, uh, you know, the army water cans? Yeah. yeah. We had like cans, 20 yeah. of them, yeah. 20 jerry cans full of this stuff. And then what we did. <laughs> Wait, so, full of the actual finished product? No. Well, it was. Holy so shit. So to start. <laughs> that's a lot. That's yeah. 100 fucking yeah, gallons. That's 100 <laughs> gallons. Dude. dude, what the fuck? So what you got to do, too, you got to make You're an airlock, right? You're the only person that's been in the G-Watt that made 100 gallons of booze in the G-Watt. <laughs> no, I'm probably For not sure. the only one. Probably no not one else has done one. that. I don't think anybody no else way. has made 100 we would, gallons we of We wouldn't know them if they had done it. So sure. here's the thing. To make God. wine, you got to make an airlock, right? So we took so we took a surgical tubing, and we put it over the top of the water can, and then took that and stuck it into a water bottle so it, was, it would bubble. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Adapt and so overcome. Got it. Yep. We literally, <laughs> we, and we crossed, we crossed the border into Iraq with like three jerry cans full of shit fermenting. That's funny. This is the second, <laughs> this is... Onesie, one A and one B greatest stories about producing shit in theater during the invasion. Dude. Because the other one is Evan having a fucking coffee grinder hooked up to the fucking uh, the prick one four eight mount in the front of his Humvee. Nice on the, during the invasion. Yeah. Like they were in the lead vehicles during the invasion, and he yeah. had a fucking coffee grinder literally hooked up to the battery in his fucking Humvee. It's so how, how did Perfect. it taste? How did it turn out? You know, it wasn't bad after the third one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first how many, two how were many rough. people partook? It t- it tastes like a, a kind of like a yeasty bread uh what's that freaking candy the freaking just just sugar candy, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. It's yeah. like a Jolly yeah. Rancher with yeast in it. Yeah. But, and how many people drank it? The whole team. You know, 12 man team. We had 100 gallons. Pretty much took us through so the even war. Your- <laughs> They get fucked up? Oh, no. dude. They get fucked up? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, sir. <laughs> no, 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 sir. No, that sir. never happened. Yeah, sure. sure. No, the sir. statute of limitations no, on that is over, I think. Yeah, it might be over. How long have you been yeah. out of the Army? Um, I retired in 2017. So oh, no, it's not over. Ooh, it's not over yet. No, it's, it's 10 years. But that was, was 2003. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, it was 2003. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, oh we're yeah, good. You're fine. Oh, 17 yeah. years. Yeah. UCMJ yeah. is 10 years. We're totally for, good. For any non felony yeah. So you're good. <laughs> you're fine. Good. So so do you live in Nashville, or are you making this out of Nashville right now? Is so this your home base? We're in uh, our distilleries in Pleasant View, Tennessee. Okay. It's exit 24, going yep. towards Clarksville from Nashville. I live 10 minutes down the road in Springfield. Um. Yeah. yeah, Nashville's one of those those cities that's spread out, so you can live. Everybody kind of lives yeah. off of an exit. You guys market by exits here, yeah. uh, which which I dig, but it seems like everybody loves your whiskey. How did you get involved with Rob O'Neill? Um, so through this foundation, actually. Um, two years ago, I did Did you our... graduate from the foundation? No. You didn't go through the program right now? No, okay. I just... You know, I had this business, I had a bunch of bottles, and yeah. when they did their first uh, event here in Nashville, I donated a case of our first barrel that we uh, mm. bottled, and they auctioned it off. Another funny story. So, first event, I go in there, I meet Rob O'Neill, we're sitting in the green room, we're, both, we're sipping on my freaking bourbon, hanging out. Rob goes up, tells his ridiculous story, yep. right? yep. And then the guy that's running the organization is like, Andy, uh, you're up next. I'm like, Psh. yeah. How do you follow that? Who the hell wants to so listen to me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now here's Andy. this guy. Yeah, Andy. <laughs> so here's what I did. I had to break the ice. I got up on stage and I was like, okay, Rob's been freaking sniveling about how hard scuba school is in the <laughs> Navy. In the Army, they put sharks in the freaking pool. 
And Rob gets up on stage and gives me the finger. I was like, <laughs> yeah, back at you. That's cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Everybody laughed. and That's how you know Rob's a legit dude, by the way. He is. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's what, super literally cool. Literally has been one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet. But if you talk shit to him right to his face, he's like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> a dude that's truly badass doesn't need to flex on you. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. how you know Rob's a legit oh, dude. dude. The, and the yeah, other yeah. the other great part about him and, and this foundation is they're willing to help out small businesses, have them come out for the day, and uh, your whiskey's fantastic. I mean, it's shit, really good. If if we hadn't have been here today, I would never have known about it. Yeah, this is cool, man. This it's is amazing. Awesome. Where can everybody yeah. find your company on social media? So and in uh, in your products, if they're in Nashville, where can they come buy it? The heart, the bottles of it. So Nashville, the biggest one is um, uh, Frugal McDougal. Mm. That's the biggest store. But you, it doesn't matter what state you're in. You can go to greatamericancraftspirits.com, and you can buy it. Really? You, you, guys, buy you guys are available in all 50? Uh, I think it's about 35 35? States. That's about yeah. right. Yeah. 34? Yeah. Okay, yeah, There's cool. some states yeah. that are freaking he, retarded. Let's say this is the same, Can't. dude. It's it's It took you guys, what, three years to finally get to 34? No, it took us. Uh, five years? Five years? We started in 2014, and we're just now cresting 47. It's okay. tough, man. Yeah, right? It's tough. It takes it's a tough. long time. All, all these states have like their individual rules you have to go through. The and liquor some, laws. Some are of them brutal. have organizations yeah. within the state that only exist there that mm -hmm. you have to go deal yeah. with on a one to one basis just yeah. to get your booze in the state. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Dude, we talked a bunch of times, different veterans events, like special ops ex excursions. I think it was the last time we met. Yeah. And uh, we, we're like, we're talking, we're like, dude, what is going on with this shipping thing, dude? It's horrible. Yeah, because because we, we experienced, the last time you and I t chatted, it was uh, when when we had to move from glaciers or something uh, that started up, and the first person that distributed through the internet was up in New York, uh -huh. and then they remember it paused for almost a year, yeah. and it was like, okay, that's crippling. It's so painful. Yeah. It's yeah. so painful. And there's some states... No matter what you do, you can't get your booze in there. No, yeah. like, like Utah, for example. Well, well those are the uh, North, Car states. North Carolina yeah. is a control, control states, state, but yeah. at North Carolina That's only true. only reviews new spirits a two week period in December once a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and if you're not yeah. there, you're out. Yeah, yeah you're gone. Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> yeah. Pennsylvania is one of those ABC yeah. stores too, or uh, yeah. states too. Yeah, Pennsylvania, oh, yeah. North Carolina. Something cool yeah. we got yeah. coming up. I'd love to throw out. Go We're ahead. gonna yeah, open up another Leatherwood Distillery outside of Austin in the Hill Country. We're in Austin, right next Glenn. to my house. Glenn. Yes, where? So at? it's uh, near one of Deep my Eddie's. I can't say the vineyard he's buying, but he's buying a vineyard up there in Hill Country. I live in Hill Country. Where at? <laughs> if it's near <laughs> Deep, Deep Eddie's, is right, right down the something from his Creek. House. Something Creek Vineyards. Onion okay. Creek. Oh, no, I don't think it's on <laughs> But uh, it's a buddy of mine, and he's going to give us a building. We're going to open up another Leatherwood. When, do you know when it's 30 miles from my house. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's, it, that's it's like, two miles from my yeah. I live in Dripping Springs. Yeah, it's that's really close to us. Yeah. yeah. For real. yeah you're, we'll come, you're, we'll come you're to a show there You'll be my neighbor, for Dude, sure. We'll, we'll do a live show there, yeah. It's going to be bad. When is that going to open up? We're shooting for June, July. Nice. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Hopefully the COVID bullshit will be over by then. And yeah. Next just call July? It, yes. Are you kidding? Just call, be, a, just yeah, call it a private a party. Locust and we'll do it. Fucking, yeah. like, there's going to be like 10 more things. Since I, then. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, it's going to be for We have to wear masks because of locusts. Yeah, yeah. I hear there's a lot of babies walking around with knives. Yeah. A lot of babies like walking Chucky, around Like Chucky, but they're even younger now. Just to do and it. They're stabbing people. Look at that. Look at that. What are we talking about here? Boom. Is that a Gerber? What do you got there? No, that's a bush. That's a, yeah. Bushman. Gerber's all had the blades are all the same. Drinking shape. Bros podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where no one is phased by a guy that pulls a knife <laughs> ever on the show. <laughs> None of us blinks. <laughs> Nobody blinks. No, to be honest, that's, that's the coolest no, thing. Listen, Nobody blinks. Which one is that? Uh, yeah. That's a cool yeah. knife, man. Is that a Gerber? To be honest, awesome. if you pulled a gun out and shot that tree a couple of times, I'd be like, damn, what caliber is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, not going to do it. You, oh, you were waiting. Job. You are like, he's going to yeah. do it. Well, if you were, you <laughs> were. Freaking I didn't do give it. a shit. I'm not behind yeah. camera. No, it's uh, in my truck over there. I'm tell everybody <laughs> once again the, the name of your website, by the way. Uh, Leatherwooddistillery.com. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, man. Leatherwood Distillery on Instagram. What are you guys on social media? Leatherwood Distillery. Great. Instagram and Facebook. Amazing whiskey. Cheers. We're Drinking old yeah, fashioned. Good. Cheers, guys. Shout out to Listen, Leatherwood. I was greatly baby appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, appreciate thanks you. Thanks for being here, man. We appreciate it. Cheers.
We're at the end of a long day, kids, Ooh. on Drinking Bros I'm hot. podcast. I'm hot. You're hot. We've the been drinking right on us all now. day, beating on us. Yeah. Someone say beating on us. Beating. Uh, who do we got here to close out the show today? We have a special uh, guest that I have a bone to pick with. Yeah, actually, you, you do. Know? Yeah, you do. You know, who is it, Jared? You know, Tell him. You know, why, Tell why him. is it, Ross, that I can text Jay Muse right now <laughs> and he gets back to me within one minute? Jason fucking Muse. Yeah. But I messaged this guy nine years ago. He still hasn't replied. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. 2011. 2011. I sent, him a, I sent him a message because he had a viral song in the military called the EAS song. You yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody remembers. Great song. This is Everybody Tyler remembers. J. Yeah. Great. Hey, Tyler. Tyler with us. Tyler, finally. <laughs> Not because of me. No, 10 years Someone later. Someone else drug his ass here. He doesn't give a shit. We I'm got the same sunglass right choices, I and I so. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, look, in all sincerity, you're one of the most talented dudes on the fucking planet. Why didn't you answer Jared, though? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I didn't know how to use Facebook. And uh, I didn't get that message until about it was three diet. years ago. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was a diet thing. You know, when you're eating that many crayons. Agreed. Agreed, yeah. Just, he eats a lot of crayons, you're saying? Yeah. Oh, he's a Marine. Yeah, yeah he's a Marine. For, forest green's my favorite flavor. Oh, that's so oh, that's man, that's a I color, like not yeah. a flavor, though. Oh, man. That's Crayola. Yeah, I knew I had something wrong. Yeah, that's well, Crayola. I mean, look. Is that girl still fucking around over yeah, there? Yeah, she's, she's fucking around over here. Hit Brad Primo. God, get her on the show. We got to get her on the show. We got to get her on the show at a, the end of this. There's a female 160 Soar pilot that's running around here, and every time she fucking drives, I feel like I'm in danger. <laughs> Absolutely. Every single time. <laughs> Ruining God, our lives. Um, but uh, in all sincerity, we're huge fans of you. Um, thanks for being on the Everybody's show. Everybody's Thanks for having me. You're doing the after party as well. Yes. And... Uh, uh, dude, w tell everybody, first of all, where they can find you, because I, I feel like you're that guy, everybody knows your voice, but might not know your name yet, which is sad. Sure. Um, yeah, so I kind of dropped off the map for a few years, uh, but I'm back. Did uh, you get abducted by aliens or something? Uh, unfortunately not. I was trying. Damn. I put the signs out, and like, so your I had an air panel. So not no, at not all? yet. Not by aliens, at least. doesn't bleed on well, its own. There we go. <laughs> Damn. Wait, well, your butthole's bleeding on its own? Yours doesn't do that? I thought that's what they said the burn pits did. Oh, boy. You guys have been eating those Jack in the no. Box tacos all day long. <laughs> no. All day long. Your butthole should not be bleeding on its own, Jared. That's not the, what they said it'd be. The else. other thing I like about it, you just brought cigarettes with you, and you're like, hey, fuck it. You can smoke those on here. We don't give a oh, shit, cool. by the way. Yeah, no. um, uh, it, Dan smokes weed every single goddamn day nice, on me here. Me too. I do, yeah. Um, yep. But you are you have one of those voices, and like, dude, I, I feel this way about all the artists in Yellowstone, and I hope that's not offending you. I feel like you're... Already like ten years famous, but you might not be, and people haven't heard about you yet. Um, yeah. Do you um, get that a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it's one of those I've heard about you, but I don't know who you are. Situations, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah kind of. Everybody knows the EAS song. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, nobody uh, recognizes yep. me anymore because I looked like I was like a fucking twelve year old well, you kid. Had a, you you had no hair. Oh shit! No, I had more hair then than I did now. I had a Corman fucking <laughs> like. No, no, no. I guess I do. But have you didn't have the facial hair, hair, right? But no, I, yeah. obviously no. I, I didn't it's have an operator chip yeah. like you fancy fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> don't give that shit to Marines unless unless you're a brother and you get the the nasty shit growing on your yeah. But what uh, year did you go in? Uh, I joined in 05. When did you, you, when, when did you get out? I got out in 2009. What was okay, your cool. unit? 1st Battalion, 4th Marines. 1-4? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where did you guys deploy? Uh, we went, um, actually my first deployment was to Hurricane Katrina. Um, we were, That's uh, funny. So we, we yeah. sent, who was <laughs> yeah. it from the 82nd? Uh, it was 504. Uh, it was 504, yeah. 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 They went down there for yeah. that. Yeah, it was what a shit show. It was a fucking shit show. And then they show, sent fucking 2325, my unit, to fucking Haiti and yep. 10 oh, or Haiti. 9 or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was uh, yeah, it was interesting. That's um, not the deployment you want to go on, by the way. No, well, full, dude. I, full on fucking, like, for the 82nd Airborne, it was like full on beret, rifle, no magazine. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, what we, the fuck? No, I flew in there as a saw gunner. I had I had two drums. They I didn't. Mean, they sent our guys over there with fucking, uh, like, M4s and no mags. Dude, I thought I was going to get my combat action ribbon in the States <laughs> before, before state we left. Stateside kill. Yeah. Yeah. You want an SKS for sure. You yeah. want you are SSK. You want that stateside kill, yeah. Yeah, right. Everybody wants it, yeah. <laughs> no, I tell you, you know, I, didn't, I definitely didn't want it there, but... Uh, Man, it, it was interesting. Um, How know, gnarly that, was it in real life? Be honest. Man, it was pretty fucked up. Uh, we landed in Gulfport, Mississippi. We were there for a couple yep. of days. Gulfport there, is um, like the fucking, that's where it always hits. Yeah, well, they first, couldn't. Every the time, governor yeah. hadn't called federal 
Aiden. So they were yelling at Bush, saying he hadn't done a fucking thing. They did thing. the same thing in fucking New Orleans. Dude, the, the mayor of New Orleans. There, yeah. Like, yeah. left all those city buses sitting there and all that shit. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we fucking, nobody, we're, nobody's helping us. You have to declare a state of emergency. Right, right. That's how the Constitution works, yep, motherfucker. Yeah, posse commentators. Damn it. That. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> did you not read the rules before you took the goddamn job? No, they didn't. Fuck, man. They, they clearly didn't. But here right. we are. So Yeah, well, then uh, we went on a mew, um, went around and... On a float, huh? Yeah. Six months. Yeah, I went to eleventh uh, Mew, and uh, well, how long was it? Six or nine? Or um, I think that was just nine months. Mm. Um, it was that's supposed to be seven, of, but that's that's a that's a long one though. For well, we, they dropped us in Kuwait, and uh, mm. we we were actually gonna go into Iraq. Were you like QRF for a while? We or were something? QRF yeah. for a while for another unit, yeah, and, yeah. and then. Um, actually, our battalion commander failed some fucking war game thing, oh, and then they put us back shit. on the boat. Wow. So, I don't know. Uh, All right. We didn't get used. Well, but, uh, when went, did you decide to get out? Um, 2009. Yeah, Why or when? Probably my what, second deployment. Yeah. You know? what, what, <laughs> like, I, what, was there a specific reason? Like, And the reason I ask is, typically when people are as talented as you, musician-wise, there, there comes a point where you're like, hey, man, it's either the music or a military career. Yeah. Was that, was that kind of it for you? Yeah, that was it. I mean, it was... And I, and I had a lot of lot of support from other guys in the unit saying, dude, you got to go for this. And uh, That's a funny thing. Once you get out, the veteran community be, can become kind of problematic. Because yeah. There's a lot of haters out there. Yeah. But if you're in the military, you have some kind of talent. Or They're like, oh, you should you're do like, this. Dude, you got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, man, grab yeah. that guitar. You're the one that sings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, how many times has that happened to me on a TDY? Seriously. Go get the guitar. Play yeah. fuck you. I'm drunk. That's no. but, but that's that's what we've heard about you all the time, Jared, where it's like we've had uh, friends of yours who deployed with you on our show, and they're like, dude, we knew Jared was bigger than this. Um, was it the same way with you, where it was like, hey, man, we think you're bigger than this. We got to get the fuck out of here? Um, you know, I don't really know. I know they, I know a lot of people like, hell, my career planner tried to tried to recruit me to write a re-enlistment song. <laughs> and I was like, no shit. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. But, uh that's oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's a big not F. A not not going to happen. I was fucking kidding me. What yeah. do you, uh... Well, Sergeant Major asked me, like, what's going to do to your re-enlist? I'm like a billion dollars. Yeah. You give me a billion dollars to re right now. Yeah. I'm like, get the fuck out of my office. Yeah, I'm pretty like, much. Oh, yeah, God. see? I don't want to work for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why that price is so high. Lamarcky Maybe. Knowles. Can, can Sergeant Major Lamarcky Knowles, by the way, he became the 82nd... Sith Lord? Yeah, the Sith Lord. The he Sith Lord. The Division Sergeant Major of the 82nd. He's a giant piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And everybody in 2325 knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking hey, about. Hey, fucking Sith Lord, don't, don't, don't wear them Oakley boots. <laughs> so how long have you been playing music? Um, well, actually, uh, I got my first guitar when I was about nine, but I never took any like formal lessons or anything like that mm -hmm. and kind of put it on the shelf for a little while. And really, really, that deployment in, in 07 in Iraq uh, when I wrote the EAS song. Um, uh, Rawa, we were in the Euphrates River Valley. Um, Cop Rawa. From, well, we were Al Qaim actually, but we were, but from we were Rawa all the way. Shop, Saudi City area in 07. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a fuck. Away, it's yeah. a fun fucking no, place, isn't it? Place yeah, yeah, it's a pretty, the worst pretty much just a shithole. You deal with all the moon dust out in Rawa. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh the, the fucking dust. god, dude, that, that shit was insane. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they sell it to my kids now as like this like kinetic yeah. fucking you know, <laughs> silly putty, <laughs> silly putty. But that, like silica sand plus a little bit of moisture plus wind. Yeah. Equals my lungs are not gonna work anymore. Ever again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. no. Thank you, right. yeah. So what are you playing for us today? Um, I guess the guitar. Uh, a uh, couple songs I wrote. I don't yeah, know, so, hey, yes. so, so I guess <laughs> might as well. No, it's, it's <laughs> we, we we've had a we've had the a, a crazy long day. It's been amazing here at, at Rob O'Neill's charity. It's been the best. Um, we wanted to have you play us out of this show today. Okay. So first of all, tell everybody we'll where they circuit. can find you on social media. Sure. Um, so at social media, I'm Tyler J Music, and that's J A Y. Um, so you got to spell it out. It's the the word. Yep. Okay. Got no spaces, no Not underscores. Tyler Gray. Yeah, Tyler yeah. Tyler J. J. Tyler J. Music. Um, but T J. That's the Instagram and Facebook. Um, okay. Some other jerk has. Has Tyler J music on Twitter or some shit like that? So that's not uh, me. Oh fuck him! Um, try it. Yeah. Fuck him. And his name's not even Jay, I hear. So uh, we'll uh, find out. Fuck yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, and, and what song are you gonna play us out with today? Um, well, I guess I'll I'll play the song that I'm gonna play later tonight. Um, we this, like this. the song's called The Circus. Great. And uh, you know, we've all had our own circus in life. Mm -hmm. Mine was the Marine Corps. Um, whatever you know your circus was in life, you may not miss that, but you'll always miss the clowns. Awesome. So. 
Awesome. Well, hey, while you get set up, yeah. uh, that's Tyler J Music. Uh, go to his Instagram page. Uh, go to iTunes and check out his music. He's one of the most talented musicians in the biz. And again, it is one of those voices that you feel like you've heard for 15 years, uh, but he's not famous yet. Uh, hopefully we can make you famous today. Uh, lead us out of here. Right. Lead us out of here with that song, please. I've been out for so long Longer now than I was in I ain't saying that I'm some cowboy Right now I'd go back again I'm so thankful for my family My wife and I two kids Oh, most nights I thank God They don't know where I've been we we painted on our faces we we learned to walk the wire They fed us just like lions And they watched us jump through fire The way we walked around in circles The way we worked into the ground Well, I may not miss the circuit But I damn sure miss the clown Damn, I miss those clowns So that's why you find me out here In a place you never feel And I know Watch us jump through fire. The way we walked around in circle. The way we trained into the ground. Well, I may not miss the circuit. The way they fed us just like lions. The way they watched us jump through fire. But when they taught us we were fearless men. Turned us into life. The way we walked around in a circle. The way they trained us just like hounds. Well, I may not miss the circus. But I damn sure miss the clown. No, I may not miss the circus. I will always be a clown.